Thank you, Chair and Conference. I'd like to begin by reading you a message. My family is safe. I don't know if safe is the right word. I can say they're alive. My sister, she escaped Moldova with her, her children. She escaped to Moldova with her children, but my father is in Kyiv, hiding in the basement of our garage. We have an 85-year-old grandma who can't move. He has stayed in Kyiv to take care of her, to take her medicine and groceries. We are praying for them every day. This is the message one of my team received from a Ukrainian friend. We've had many messages like that today. It's the story of millions that should never have been told. Our emergency debate on Ukraine today demonstrated the strength of feeling of every person in this hall across the labor and trade union movement in this country. And we stand with the people of Ukraine, stand against Putin's aggression, and stand with our friend and council general, Mick Antonov. But conference, it's in our response, it's in our response here in Wales that I want to speak, to, uh, speak about as your Minister for Social Justice. I'm proud that within few, a few days of Putin's invasion, the Welsh Government announced £4 million for the Disaster Emergency Committee. And I'm proud also that thanks to our brilliant NHS, 17 pallets of medical equipment are now on their way to Ukraine. So we are a nation of sanctuary, as the First Minister said this afternoon. We demonstrated this resolutely through the way we welcomed those fleeing Afghanistan last summer. We are a proud nation of sanctuary, and that's why, along with our First Minister and our brilliant Welsh Local Government Association leader, Councillor Andrew Morgan, and, and his Labour leader colleagues, that we've implored the UK Government to remove their callous barriers for those seeking a visa. This is the greatest humanitarian crisis facing Europe since the Second World War. Yet, despite recent announcements, people will still face near insurmountable bureaucracy. And we'll have to wait to see what safety they will find uh, or security that they can provide for their children. And conference, we've called for a compassionate and fully funded refugee resettlement scheme. And we are ready, we are working across the government to prepare for the welcome that we will give to the Ukrainian refugees. And we will act as we've done before in unity with our local authorities, our third sector, our faith communities, to offer that safety. And wel that welcome is synonymous with our nation. Because it, it is this intrinsic compassion and sense of justice that also is founded in our stark opposition to the Tories' new plan for immigration, the Nationality and Borders Bill. Now, this bill, which we believe will breach international conventions and violate basic principles of justice, will increase risks of exploitations faced by all migrants and asylum seekers, and that will lead to serious human rights Violence. In recent weeks, the, the Senate rejected this bill, with, withholding its consent, as we did also on the appalling police court sentencing bill, which seeks to criminalise our gypsy, Roma and traveller communities. Now, this is not just the only... The Tories are hell-bent on the erosion of human rights, including dropping the Human Rights Act. We have a vigorous opposition to that with our partners in civic society in Wales. And, you know, this is what the Tories are concentrating on. They're failing to act on what matters to people's lives, as we've heard in this debate this afternoon, the cost of living crisis. They've ignored uh, the calls for a windfall tax on oil and gas companies. They've ignored our calls to cut... VAT calls to reverse their dr draconian cuts to universal credit and to halt their taxation hikes. The Tory Chancellor is overseeing the worst drop in living standards for 50 years, hitting the poorest hardest. And while the, the Tories uh, stand by, Welsh Labour has acted, and together with our Minister for Finance and Local Government, Rebecca Evans, we introduced that support package that nearly doubles what is on offer in England, providing over 330 million through our winter fuel support scheme, our council tax reduction scheme, our emergency support fund, our hung holiday hunger programme and free school meal provision. 
and making sure that we address that all-important issue raised this afternoon about heating or eating. This should not be the way in a civilised society uh, in, the, in 2022, and the Welsh Government will provide that shield and interact. So finally, conference. During COVID, we saw our country, our local authorities, our faith communities, our third sector, our police, our NHS, rallying to protect those who they hold so dear. And throughout this last year, we've also delivered on many areas of our manifesto and more. We've kick-started the Disability Rights Task Force. We brought forward a groundbreaking action plan for an anti-racist Wales. We've boosted funding for our Wales and Africa programme during the pandemic. We've consulted on our LGBTQ plus action plan. We've extended our childcare offer to people in education and training. And we've pushed ahead with our new strategy on violence against women, domestic abuse, and sexual violence. And this is going to reach out now to tackle violence against women in the street and the workplace, addressing those vital calls to tackle sexual harassment and violence against women in motions to this conference. And I do thank our Labour Police and Crime Commissioners for working with us on that issue of tackling violence against women and your support for recruiting those 100 extra new PCSOs, that key manifesto commitment. But it doesn't stop there. Conference, together we've announced a world first basic income pilot for care leavers. <laughs> and importantly, that pilot will provide over 500 care leavers with 1,600 pounds a month with no conditionality and in the hope we can prove that a better welfare system is possible. So in finishing conference, None of this, none of our achievements could have been secured if it wasn't for our local authorities, our Labour councillors and our Labour leaders in local government. We are a Labour family. We've shown time and again what can be achieved when it's a Labour family in power. And imagine what we could achieve with even more authorities turning Labour. Together we can achieve this. Together we can build that stronger, greener, fairer Wales. We know this is possible. Jochen Val.